Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Golgari Grave Troll, and I do want to talk about it from a purely financial consideration. It was $1.50 December 2015, right before 2015, and a year and a half later, less than a year and a half later, it's already $9. So when you look at real live examples of something multiplying by six in price there's not that many there's not many stocks that have done that recently and there's not many definitely no bonds or mutual funds like in 18 months can not only triple or double in price it goes up six i don't even know what the word for that is and assuming you can sell it for buy list for like 450 let's assume you can sell for buy list for half you would be making triple your money at buy list. And this is one of the cases of a card that everyone knew was going to be good. I remember playing in 2014 and I was like, yeah, this card's going to be really good. Um, as soon as a modern format came out, people started bre brewing uh, dreads decks and it's only going to get better in time. I Outside of another reprint, I don't see this card tanking ever again uh, because the more graveyard interactions you have, the more dredging of potential you have, the stronger mill cards you have, the better this card will be. So currently, it's the weakest card it will ever be today. Tomorrow, depending on what's going to be printed, even something in Commander 2016 could spike its price again. So a very interesting card and definitely one of a very few cards where you could have made back your money and then some. 